Hi everybody, I'm going to give a uh, demonstration on getting set up to do your prototypes in Axure. First thing you want to do is um, is get your widget libraries for the iPhone installed in Axure. I've put a couple links up on the um, up on the Blackboard site for the course. Uh, there's a couple libraries here which I'll show how to install and here's a link to how to install the widget library. Um, when you go to the home page on Xshore, if you go to how to, and then you see where it says widget libraries over here, on this page are lots of widget libraries that you can choose from. The one we're going to use is um, the iPhone UI elements is the one we're going to download and use right here. Uh, but first, so right here is instructions on the top of this page. And that's the link on the Blackboard site. Uh, if you scroll down right here, loading custom widget libraries, this explains how to do it. And I'm going to go through it right now. Uh, I've done several of these steps, so some of this will be a little, uh, a little pet repetitive uh, in terms of what you see on the screen. Uh, first, so I'm on the widget libraries page. I find the widget library that I'm interested in, which is this one. And I go to download here. It actually goes to the page for the person who created the libraries. I click on free download. Now, according to the instructions, that comes down as a zip file. And once I open up, according to the instructions, I have to put it in the um, documents library uh, that Xure sets up on the installation. So under documents, and this is on Macintosh, and the Windows instructions are up there. There's an Xure folder. In there is a libraries folder. And here are the where I put the various um, widget libraries. And the one I downloaded for, that we're going to install right now is the um, uh, this one here. So I'm going to go back to Xure. And under the widgets here, it says load library. So it's actually you've already I'm already, I'm right there already. I'm in the uh, my root documents Xure libraries. Remember, Xure sets this up for you when you install it on Mac, and Windows does something similar. And here is the iPhone Xure widgets that we that I put installed here after I downloaded them, or I unzipped it and moved here. And actually, I can do all three at once. And there they are. They're now available here iPhone bodies, which is different iPhones, iPhone black, um, iPhone home screen, which is sort of old style IS, that's a, that's a iPhone 3. Now I've created a widget library that um, you can use um, a custom one I created with a few things that will be useful for as you build this out. So I'm going to go and install it. So once again, if you go back to the Blackboard page for the site, uh, the Blackboard module for this um, assignment, here it is, iPhone 4S RP Lib, which means uh, Xure Library. Go back here, load library. I downloaded that from the site, put it right in this folder already, right here, the libraries. Click on it open and what this says and I'll go to a new blank page here it actually I created a iPhone um, 4s uh, frame or body as they call it and then I created got an iPhone home screen it's a little more contemporary from the other one drag it right in there so it's available to use and since this will be your starting page I created a blank icon which you can drag over you, know, you can drag over and put over any of these icons to be and create that clickable item that'll go into your um, do your prototype pages and you can take that and you can put anything you want in there I made the Photoshop <clears throat> actually the PNG file file available on the module page for this so if you wanted to take in the Photoshop and create a custom uh, icon you could 
and then you can just drag it right on there or you can create something with type here and make sure uh, so I've installed my um, widget libraries for the iPhone the three that came from the uh, that was available through the Xure site and my own custom one for a few iPhone 4s items now we'll move on to demonstrating getting set up to actually make your prototype